Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you the Champions News live at 3. Uh, starting off with the portal review, we got Kid Kelly, he's in the new ministry, same faction as me. He's League 18, 2.4 million roster talent, 290 um, roster size. He's been playing for 1,708 days, and he's never missed a day. The true definition of an Iron Man. He has 96.2% win percentage all the time. That's a super good win percentage. Almost 2,000 battles won in the last 30 days. Five-star gold steamboat, excellent choice. Five-star silver zombie Triple H, Dawkins, Bailey, and Naomi. The really nice top five. Um, definitely jelly about this steamboat. He has 28 five-stars, 174 four-stars, 77 threes and 12 two stars so he can do some talent up uh most class superstars owned is showboats at 58 that seems to be a trend so from at this point i can extrapolate from the data that showboat is the largest class in the game he has nine hall of famers a good chunk of hall of famers uh best ranking feud says is one uh 1000 faction heals in the last 30 days that's a good amount there um, 524 feud wins in the last 30 days. His best finish was the Showboats Clash Flash Feud, 163rd, 170th in Universes Collide, 181st in Women Strikers and Trick versus Tricksters, 188th in Technician versus Showboat, and 202nd on the count of three, say Hollywood Hangover. So some pretty good success in events there, and a really nice roster. Also Jelly of the Dawkins. I don't have Dawkins, so do have Naomi and love her. Also have Bailey and think she's amazing as well. So really nice roster, Kid Kelly. Uh, you get the two thumbs up. So let's take a look at the special offers today. See what's new since yesterday. Uh, Seamus loot packs. There's really nothing extra here, um, but it does allow you to double dip on the portal. Uh, Hall of Fame talent up special. That's a pass for me. Um, $20 gets you 7 pulls, 2 million coin, 50 Seth shards. Uh, the, the Seth Rollins, the Fiend, Undisputed Fiend shards. Um, I guess if you're close to Seth, maybe he's an okay trainer, not someone you're going to miss too much. Not that good of a, a superstar himself. Uh, he is required for some stuff, but, um, you know... The seven pulls part, the 50 Seth shards are really the bonus there. Also, you get the 2 million coin and you can double dip. So that's not bad at all um, as far as that with the event going on. I don't think there's anything else new on the portal today. I did end up getting the three-star bronze uh, fuse, fuse up starter pack, not the three-star silver. I got the three-star bronze. Um, oops, there is the daily claim, though. want to make sure and grab that. For the last Lashley shards. Uh, flash market. Make sure to log in and do your daily reroll. See if we get anything good today. Uh, nothing I have to have. 100 times EXP on Stephanie McMahon there. If I was still chasing Charlotte, wouldn't be bad. And the spend event is going on. You can see I did my backstage pass and that 1999 starter on the portal. Um, so I got to 30 points. Uh, so that was an extra 7 million coin, 15 bobby shards, one bugged legendary strap that I didn't get, and uh, one epic shard chest. Um, so yeah, let's go over to the game, because that takes care of the portal today. Not much new on the portal. Okay. So we got um, a lot going on. There's Blitz, there's Tours. Uh, let's take a look at the store first, get that out of the way, as well as the loots. There's a lot of loots uh, to go over as well. Um, I don't think there's a lot in here that I'm necessarily uh, a fan of. I mean, 499 for two pulls and, and 500,000 coin and 100 TP isn't bad if you really want to do a couple pulls. Um, other than that, the step up packs are good. I did not get anyone to send me pictures of what's in the next levels of step ups yet. 
If I do get those, I will get those out to you because it doesn't say here. There are Alistair Black shards in the final one. Um, don't forget to do your free daily claim. Okay. Uh, I was asked a few times if I feel like this is worth it. My opinion, no. Uh, if you really want Finn Balor, though, I mean, there's that way to go about it, but I don't feel like it's worth it uh, for me. I do have mine at four-star gold. I got him there during his event, uh, but I don't personally think that would be worth the price tag there. Not the biggest fan of either of these backstage pass deals, but they are there um, if you want them. I don't think there is anything else here. Let's take a look at the loot. Okay, so well, actually we'll do my few key pulls. I haven't started blitzing yet, so I just claimed my um, my Drew a little bit ago. Haven't leveled him yet. Uh, nothing too exciting there. Uh, so Stacy loot, this is the cash loot, 40 pulls uh, for a high price. That's not a normal price. So I'd say it's probably like a 30 pull or 32 pull, probably by normal pricing. 3% uh, featured chance. Let's see what's all in there. Uh, and yeah. Mm, not so much. And shards that are only 50 on top of it. Not a fan of the featured spot. Um, as we scroll down, we'll see, you know, JBL's in here. NWO Ted's kind of rare. China. Trish still is. Very low shard count. So, really, unless the commons are amazing, I'm not a fan of this one at all. And they're not. There's lots of, lots of commons. And small shard count. So yeah, I'm not a fan of this cash one. I'd wait for a different one with my tap joy cash or the cash that I already had. Not a fan of that one. Week one zombies unleashed. Um, let's see, 3.3 percent. It's unfortunate that zombies like this are in there, um, because there's a lot of free to play cards in there, and then there's not the biggest shard quantity as well as t-shirts so i would probably wait for week two uh honestly on most of these and see what pops in week two um that's not the worst super rare actually there's not that many bad cards in here um other than you know the the common zombies uh shango so that's actually not the worst super rare pool to be honest that's not too bad um, let's see what rare looks like. It's okay. Um, and then maybe commons. I mean, it's okay. It's it's not the best. I'm hoping we get better zombie loot week two, so I would probably hold my coins for week two to see what we get there. Uh, but if you really want to, I mean, you know, go for it. And then the Seamus loot... I'm sure this is the same as during his contest. Yeah, a lot of tears. 1.88% um, is not high. There's Charlotte in there and stuff, and there's low shard counts. Not a fa fan of the top tiers of this one. Uh, mega rare is meh, super rare. Let's, this is just not so great so far either. Um, and then comments... Unless I was like super close to Lashley or Eddie, um, I, I, I doubt anyone is close to Priest. But if you're close to one of those three, maybe, but there's still commons in there. Uh, so not that great of a one either. I think I would probably just wait for better loots, especially being that it's zombie month and there's probably going to be a lot of good zombie loots. Uh, I would wait on going for any of these loots. I think we'll see a lot better in cash and paid, to be honest. So... Uh, do what you got to do, though. If you really want it, go for it. But I think you'll there'll be better loots this month, so uh, I would wait for those. Um, so Blitz, I haven't even opened it yet, to be honest. Um, 
Hell mode is always going to require the four star bronze. Uh, so I'm not going to cover that. It does take three of them, which I don't have. Um, hard mode is um, paywall. You need to at least buy the 1999 starter. I'm not a fan of that. I've made that clear in the past that I don't like that. Um, so I do. I did just get my Drew, like I said. We can go ahead and recruit him. Why not? Pop him in there and see what I think I'm going to run. Pretty great looking zombie, really. They did an excellent job with him. And I most likely will run Zombie Roman uh, for the Zombie Roman bonus. So mine will probably look like that with a little bit more leveled up Drew. Uh, so that's what I'll run. Um, it's not the hardest line to fill, really. At least Drew is a bonus, so if you get Drew, you at least get one bonus um, in there. Let's take a look at normal, because I think a lot of people are going to be on normal. Um, like I said, I'm not a fan um, of hard mode being paywalled. Um, I think they should not do that for Blitz. Um, it's fine if you want to uh, paywall something that's like bonus stuff or you're going to grind for or whatever. Um, but like paywalling a faction event to do on hard, not a fan of that. Save that for hell mode where you pay for the convenience of just doing a few matches. Um, so this one, of course, you'll put your Drew in and you don't get as good a fill bonus either. So you want to get those blitz perks up. And your choices, I mean, KO is probably going to be better uh, than Demon Finn, depending on your Blitz perks. KO has better uh, month-long perks, too. So if that's your choice, honestly, Drew would be the one to use out of all of them. So let's say you don't have any rare uh, zombies or whatever. Just throw in your lowest guys and go ahead and use uh, Drew. Just throw your lowest stuff in there and use Drew. Um, it's a lot of normals. Drew should be fine, though, once uh, with the you get the Blitz bonus, get him going turn one. He should at least be pretty quick if you buy your Blitz perks and stuff. Um, so I do normal that way. Uh, you got a lot of matches, though, so you probably don't want to delay too much. Um, so tours that are out today, uh, yesterday and today. Yesterday was KO. Today is either Zombie Finn. Um, you can see I did this one. Uh, this one I, w I did with uh, running him double purple green, which I'll just show you. It uh, wasn't hard. So the, the moveset I'm going to show you is good if you are close to their level. Because I have a four-star gold. Uh, so a little bit stronger than Miz. And, and so that's good for like that and below. Um, after that, though, when you go against harder ones, I don't recommend doing this unless you want to use a lot of props. Um, I ran him this way to beat Fiend, and by a lot of props, I mean I used one cash kickout and, like, five props. Um, didn't have the best board, but... So this is what I ran him for to get through there. Don't recommend doing it, uh, but, you know, if you need to do it, go for it. Um, I'm just going to clear the last one uh regular and go back to it if i need to later in the month and do cash kickouts if i have to um the side node you can put them in the second slot so just use your main guy and go on the side node and like i said if you're going against easier ones i'll show you the setup i used uh against evenish level um i do have a strap but it's not like crazy or anything it's just two on there for a two set of fury the skip part is nice, but that's not important. So these are the three I ran. And I ran Woods and um, More Green Gems guy, uh, Fat Del Rio, um, Rizar. There we go. Rizar. And then Trainers, I ran Lacey. And then Seth for the extra Leech Gems. You don't need Seth. Um, you could run, if you have Ray for Purple Gem Damage or whatever. Really, it doesn't matter. You could... Um, you know, do your gem matches plus one. 
um, if you got one of the trainers, although you probably don't because this is the these are the paywall coaches. But yep, um, so that's how I ran him uh, on the easier ones, and I think that would probably be faster and more efficient. If you need to go higher, um, go ahead and you know use that sub setup. If you have obviously Rocky Johnson, throw him on. Um, so that's it for the blitzes, tours, new loots, uh, and I think that'll cover it for today. Uh, we'll see what's new tomorrow, midweek. Maybe we'll get a midweek event or something. Who knows? Zombies. Uh, so always hopeful of that. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. That really helps me out. And thanks for watching. Good luck out there.